You are listening to Artbeat on RTRFM 92.1. I'm Beck Bowman. I'm going to be with you until 12 o'clock this afternoon talking all things art. One of the special sub-genres of art is sci-fi, uh, both in movies and literature. Space Brains Productions is a creative partnership that started in 2019 that is dedicated to science fiction, the what's good and the what's great of it. And they are bringing a Space Brains sci-fi film festival to Mandra this weekend. It's the Mandra Performing Arts Centre, in fact. Mark from the Space Brains podcast is here to talk to us all about what we can expect from the inaugural Space Brains Science Fiction Film Festival. Mark, welcome. Hi, Beck. How are you doing? I'm so well, thank you. I'm so looking forward to hearing about this festival. I do have a soft spot for science fiction and <laughs> it's kind of offshoots. Um, so I'm really, really interested to find out what what the WA community has to offer. Um, is there a big kind of science fiction movie making and literature circle in Perth? Uh, well, look, we've discovered a couple of branches since we started the podcast. So Space Brain started as a, a podcast. As you said, we look at what's good and what's great in science fiction films. Um, and since launching that a couple of years ago, we do get a lot of, you know, comments, shares, people listening from Perth, and then obviously the greater Earth, Earthling community. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, like there's a, there's another guy, Sean David, that runs like a little community sci-fi festival around uh, Christmas time every year. So we we kind of keep discovering these little patches and. You know, it does cross over into some other subgenres like cosplay, and and people in sci-fi tend to, you know, they they're really into it, aren't they? They tend to be like very passionate about their particular version of sci-fi. So, yes. Yeah, we've found we've found little communities in Perth and beyond, which is awesome. So, people that when we talk about people's little patches of sci-fi, um, a few weeks ago I was talking to some authors about this idea of speculative fiction um, that tied in with the idea of science fiction. Uh -huh. What are all these little kind of sub-genres of science fiction that we should watch out for? Um, I've heard also about like solar punk recently as well, like this kind of utopian future that's driven by solar panels and you know, these stories <laughs> yeah. that revolve around that. What, what, what else is there? So we love to, my, my partner looks at the science in the sci-fi, that's part of our podcast and what we're also doing at the festival is we have a published uh, science author doing one of the workshops, H.M. Vaughan, she's West Australian, she's written sci-fi novels, uh, children's books, but she's an environmental scientist. So we at Space Brains like to delve into the science that each of the films also bring up. Um, so when you talk about those little sort of niches, yeah, like that's what's lovely about sci-fi, isn't it? That you can have this sort of dystopian future kind of represented or it could go down a real tiny little niche piece of science like cloning uh, or we could look at, you know, travelling the galaxies but then the way they travel is through like alien wormholes. <laughs> yeah. So it's like... There's, that's what I think is so great about um, sci-fi is that you really can go down all of those different angles or, you know, it could be a film or a narrative set in someone's brain and it's like a psychological sci-fi, you know, and that, that's what's so great. And, and we found that with the, the films either locally made that are for the festival or internationally, they, they really have gone down so many different tangents and, you know, the filmmakers and the writers, they get to really explore those parts of humanity in very different ways in sci-fi. And again, that's what, that's something that I personally love about sci-fi. So despite there being all these kind of niche little uh, offshoots of science fiction, there are some tropes that are kind of common to science fiction. Um, what are your, what are your favourite, what are your favourite tropes of science fiction that you oh. kind of recognise in a story and go, oh, yes, love it? <laughs> Um, I guess, like you said, dystopian, that's always really cool, like that theme of taking society and branching it off into a weird future. And like you were just saying, solar dystopia future or something like that. Like, 
And, I mean, you can go back to something like Metropolis, you know, Brits Lang. I always have loved that film. We did it as a classic episode on our podcast a while ago. Um, and that one of, like, looking at a future where, you know, the rats in the cage of, of humanity have taken to this, you know, robotic, weird, god-like religion. Like, that, that is an incredible sci-fi metropolis. But then you can kind of, like, put a spin on that and go really into the future of something like The Matrix, where, you know, the robots have taken over the world and we're all locked in a cage and we're a battery, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, like, to me, it's always like that dystopian sort of idea is something I always love. Um, I also love, like, we've looked at a lot of films where AI is a key part, and I think as humanity we move more and more into those algorithms that we have online uh, we can see that AI kind of developing and, and I really like when filmmakers take the concept of AI and and push it and um, we watched a recent pretty unknown film called The Machine out of the UK that yeah really took that idea of uh, an AI that suddenly is way more human than we are as humans and in fact the AI is kind of the good and the bad you know, character yeah. in the film. So, yeah, I, I really like that. That's sort of discussing a dilemma of, you know, how human are we when you put us up against like a machine that is being programmed by humans. So, yeah, there's, there's, there's those, the, that side of sci-fi I think is the bit I really like. My partner, Surrey, his background is more in the IT and the engineering. So he, he really gets into those science elements. And so something like that film, he can really go down that idea of quantum mechanics and quantum computing and sort of the realistic part that we're at in our society right now and is that a real real version of the future you know could we go to that point in time so yeah like we have those great discussions and that's what we hope to have at the festival as well yeah so that brings up a really good point how important is science to the world of sci-fi to us it's a real key element of the definition of sci-fi so to us it's like there's no there's no um, sci-fi without the science part. Like there has to be a science element to it, and and then it's like how how do they take that science element and and push it? And they might just push it, you know, like five degrees, or they might really go <laughs> full blast, like something like Mad Max, where we do get that crazy futuristic sort of society happening that maybe doesn't look anything like it does today, or does it? Um, and so so yeah, the science to us is really important and that that is part of that definition and and then science fiction means like okay how have they fictionalized that science so if you are just tuning in and you're wondering why we're talking about science so much on Artbeat on a Friday morning, <laughs> we are talking to Mark Reagan from Space Brains about the Space Brains Sci-Fi Film Festival happening this weekend. Um, oh, and, there, and just with that, it, has, it, it had to be postponed to the 18th of June. Um, just because I am in isolation at the moment. <laughs> oh, Lordy, I'm so sorry. No, so that's, okay, that's all right. So scratch that. The 18th of June is when the Space Brain Sci-Fi Film Festival is happening. Um, so chuck it in your diaries now. Get ready to check out this workshop slash film festival. There's going to be a filmmaking workshop. There's going to be a writing workshop and a science workshop as well as all these films that have been selected to be part of the film festival. What films do we need to watch out for for this particular film festival, Mark? So the awesome thing is we we had some really local, it's something we wanted to do is really try to employ the local filmmakers. Um, And we've got a couple from Mandra where the festival is happening. We've got about four or five from Perth-based filmmakers and then a few from Australia and then a few... Uh, international short science fiction films. So um, it's a real caliber of excellent filmmaking, really interesting science and sci-fi that's been um, developed in these narratives. And the filmmakers, like, we were just so impressed with what's come out over the last 12 months of in this realm of, like, short science uh, fiction films. Um, yeah, we, we were just been blown away. We had 55 films submitted over the last 12 months. Uh, internationally and locally and we've kind of culled that down to about 16 of the best short science fiction films that yeah we can show to an audience there's films in there that are going to go down that ai pathway there's films that are really in the in stuck in people's brains there's films about sort of alternative universes 
Um, there's some comedy in there. There's some really, <laughs> there's some really outrageous kind of, you know, um, explorative science sort of ideas being blown up in our faces, literally. Um, and there's some really quirky, retro-looking sci-fi in there as well. So it's a real spectacular of sci-fi films. So make sure that you are following Space Brains on socials to find out about this festival and how to sign up for the workshops. It is happening on the 18th of June at Mandra Performing Terrific. Arts Centre. Terrific, yep. It's only and a few weeks that, away. Yes, and that, that's, that's how you can get your tickets as well, is through the Mandra Performing Arts Centre or through our website as well. But, yeah, if you just, you know, Google whatever Space Brains, you'll find us. Mark, thank you so much for telling us about this film festival and I hope you get better soon. Thanks, Beck. Thank you so much for your time. That was Mark Reagan talking about Space Brains Film Festival happening at Mandra Performing Arts Centre in June. You are listening to Artbeat on RTRFM 92.1. I'm Beck Bowman. This is...